Hi, I'm Glenna Tabor, experienced educator and passionate hydroponic farmer with years of experience teaching students, training teachers, and being an instigator of fun in mathematics. I'm sharing what I know with you. Please subscribe to my channel and we can have fun and learn at the same time. Let's snap to it. If you're looking for a real world, real time STEM project that will engage all of your learners, then consider hydroponics in the classroom. But now that you may have what I do with <laughs> this stuff it all came in <laughs> to help you visualize what I would do, I'm going to share my vision in this video. This is it. <laughs> the prototype for the shelf unit that will enhance your teaching and inspire the next generation of scientists and mathematicians. And I can't wait to share it with you. Well, what, you're wondering why I bother with a, a hydroponic system? <gasps> well, and why put it in a classroom? Because hydroponics is a living, engaging, inspiring, real world, real time work problem. In fact, if I were to take over your classroom tomorrow as a long-term sub, I would come in with plants growing in a small hydroponic system. And by the end of the week, your students and I will have put this system together. Got your attention yet? I'd have theirs. My dream shelf starts with a rolling shelf unit. This shelf unit is 64 inches in height, 30 inches wide and 14 inches in depth with five adjustable shelves and four inch casters for wheels. Each shelf can hold up to 132 pounds with wheels not in motion. The specs say that it can hold up to 1,500 pounds. That means this shelf could hold a polar bear. Oh, yeah. Oops. I got myself back to what's on the top shelf. The top shelf is holding our hydroponic only tubs and bowls for when we harvest. It's also holding my super secret supply box that only the most responsible students can open. Watch till the end because I'm going to show you what's in my super secret supply box. Let's go to the second shelf. This is my pequeño estante, or small shelf. This tank and light are for seedlings that aren't quite big enough and strong enough for the tanque grande, but need to have the constant support of nutrient, aeration, and light. If you decide you don't want a second tank, then you can use the pequeño estante for seeding trays, like this one. Did you notice what else is on the shelf? <laughs> No, I didn't say elf on the shelf, but <laughs> what else is where I can see it? And that is my power strip with timer and extra plugs. And I use reusable zip ties to keep these items from moving around so that we don't accidentally spill anything. Zip ties are also what I need to hang a 45 watt grow light above the Tanque Pequeño. Hmm, reusable zip ties are the duct tape of hydroponics. They always come to the rescue. Hmm, what shelf is next? <laughs> oh, the big tank shelf. Let's take a peek inside this DIY DWC tank. Woo! We have an air stone connected to, oh, I have what I need to provide aeration. So I'm going to put my tubing inside my tank Attach the air stone because our plants do better with aeration. And it's attached to the aerator pump with a check valve in between. If you're unsure of the parts I just talked about, then watch the hydroponics in the classroom video about putting together a DIY or a tank kit. Let's head to the last shelf. 
It's where we're going to start our seeds. Some seeds need warmer temperatures, so they'll go on a plant heat mat. Other seeds don't need as hot of an environment, so we'll put them off the heat mat. This is what's in my super secret supply box. <laughs> This is how the students manage themselves because no one touches the super secret supply box unless they are on their best behavior. Did this video help you make sense of all of this? Thanks for watching and like this video, share with others. Happy Hydroponics, Hydropenia Feliz.